For today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to make a looping wave within Blender. We'll be using a few modifiers and a plane. Opening Blender, the first thing we need to do is delete the default cube and add in a plane. We then need to add an ocean modifier. We then want to adjust the size to be around three, which will give us a nice size to work with. I'll be working at 120 frames for this animation. On the first frame, we need to add a keyframe on time being one and on the last frame being five. So we can customize some of the wave settings to make it look a bit more like water. So like uh, increasing the scale and the resolution so you can actually start seeing some of the creases. Be careful as this can lag your computer out a little bit. Um, choppiness and wind flow will allow it to look more rapid. We need to duplicate the modifier, which will allow us to create a displacement. Oh, make sure to add the keyframe in. I forgot to click on the little diamond. For the displacement, we need to increase the time to start from five and end on uh, 10. And you also need to change the geometry from generate to displace. To actually create the looping function, we need to change the scale of the waves. So on the last keyframe, uh, we're going to set uh, the scale to be four and on the displacement to zero. Then on the first keyframe, we're going to be setting the displacement to four and the generate to zero. So now, as you can see, both first and last keyframes match. Uh, this is a good indication to see if it actually loops. Then when you press play, you should see it. There we go, the perfect loop. Uh, these settings are not permanent, so you will need to adjust them if you need your waves to be more choppy or more relaxed. Uh, you just need to make sure that any changes you make are replicated in the uh, displacement as well as the generate as you will get inconsistencies. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more future content.